What's around, everyone? Thank you for joining me. I was going to go live, but since I don't have 50 subscribers, <laughs> you know, I can't go live, but I'm just going to head on over to my next appointment while I talk to you guys because um, I don't have time to go home and make this video. And for those who are followers, um, thank you so very much for following me and hanging in there all these years. But my daughter happened to tell me today that the Roe versus Wade situation. So I'm like, they need to roll that situation, that conclusion, that this is what's going to happen for the whole United States and Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico away. <laughs> okay, play on those words. Um, because cycles do repeat themselves, as you know. History repeats itself, as you know. So all we're doing is basically just going backwards. And they know it. Don't tell me that you went to school for all these years. Don't tell me that you got this degree, that degree, you done took this, that, and the other, and you know humanity so well that 12, 20, how many of y'all it is, can make a decision for the whole entire, you know what, that just tells you how disconnected these people are, how they stay in a bubble amongst themselves and only socialize amongst themselves and only choose to see what they want to see. But here's the thing, since you know what happened back in the day, which was the reason why a lot of the states decided to make abortion legal by training, you know, doctors, professionals, how to, midwives, how to go about doing a abortion safely so that the mom won't have to die. Her womb will not have to be hysterectomied out in a couple years due to infections or whatever, or die before that even happens. Or maybe she can't even have kids anymore because she's been sterilized because of faulty procedures. These people are supposed to pass history and they know history. Yeah, okay. Okay. Why did they come up to say, let's go ahead and do these? I mean, there's a whole backstory behind all of this, but let's just let's just keep it at surface level what humans the average citizen is supposed to know, right? Because it gets deeper. And the thing is, is that these people have families. These people have grandchildren and their grandchildren are going to have children. And you're going to try to tell me that when one of your descendants get, slips up or one of your sister kids kids slip up or one of your and I'm not even necessarily you slip up. You know, it could be violation. You know, against that woman, against that child, against that girl. But see, they're not worried about that because you know what? They got the good insurance plan. They got the good hookup. They shake hands with, with, with doctors that we ain't, we don't even know, we ain't see, and we can't even afford to get to. So you're going to tell your descendants and you're going to tell your sister descendants and you're going to tell, um, you know, your friends, descendants, oh, because of my decision, your 12 year old daughter just going to go ahead and she's just going to have to have that, you know, your 16 year old child who got, you know, abused by the next door neighbor who made me a million billion gazillionaire but it's still the neighbor and it still happened got violated 
But see, they don't have to worry because they could just fly. All they sister got to do, all they brother got to do, all they friend got to do is call them and be like, yo. I know, of course, they're going to go off about the law, but then they're going to turn around and say, oh, I got this doctor. Call this person. You straight. Or call this person. You good. Or go to this country and speak to this person. You good. But for the rest of the people out here, the people that you expect to show up to vote, to care, to trust that you're going to make the right decisions for everybody, everybody, everybody. Wow. Wow. Whatever school you went to failed you. Whatever degree you got failed you. Whatever life you live in sheltered and delusional at that. But let's not do that because at this point in time, they want us to get discombobulated. And what a perfect time. I was going to put happy cancer season out. <laughs> you know what I mean? How I do those little posts on, on social media for those who follow me on social media. I have the cancer, you know, babies. And I give you a little description about cancerian babies. So you know what to look for in your child if you have your child during cancer season or you already have a cancer baby. But I couldn't. I couldn't even get to it because I have some teenagers based on social media telling me and all I'm supposed to be doing is just dropping them off home from a birthday party celebrating cancer season and here they go hit me with this news. Oh, okay, I see. So you want to work up women emotions during cancer season and for anybody who study astrology or anything like that cancer is related to the moon and if anybody know anything about any kind of female feminine blood it's 2022 i'm sure you come across it how the moon is connected to your period and all that other kind of stuff right mm. so women don't get hype because for those who are doing the um who are living in the states who have already have not had abortions be legal you know they've been used to this fight but for those who have been in states who have the, um, what is a luxury now? Don't tell me they're making this a luxury. Yeah, they're making it a luxury because those who have power, those who have the moolah, they're going to be able to get them abortions for themselves, for their friends, kids, for, for, for somebody in their family, their cousin and them. They're going to find a way because history just repeats itself. You understand what I'm saying? So, for those who've been living in states that um, have, you know, um, legalized abortions and stuff, you know, yes, this is a big blow. But they want you to react like this. You know what I mean? And then they're going to put the blame on you, like always, right? Like storming the camp, no, they put the blame on the people. But you got to see what led these people up to these things. That's why I know these people are sheltered. How they go from air conditioned to air conditioned. You understand what I'm saying? Like, they got tunnels to air. They, they, listen. Listen. When I say bubble, they in a whole bubble to themselves. And all they care about is about themselves. And who they can put on. And what next level they can do. And what next hand they can shake. And who they know. And that's it. That's it. They're not worrying about everybody else. Because if they was, this wouldn't be an issue. I wouldn't be hearing this for some teenagers. And then I, I was like, I'm not going to even believe what y'all say until I, I had something to do. But I had to pause myself, sit down, look, do some research just to see. Because you know how social media is. Just to see it, what really... Like, I know Neptune is in Pisces and all that and everything. But like, my goodness... Is this a delusion that I'm going to right now? Because they know what's about to happen. But let me get back for those who are in the States where that happened. They want you to do this because this lets them know a lot about the trigger buttons. You know how you know somebody trigger buttons and you like to push them just to see how they're going to react so you can manipulate this or do this this way? This is exactly what's going on. This is exactly what's going on. So... It's going to take some time in order for the states to all, what was it, three some states or something like that, to all 
get this rule passed, if there's any stipulations and if there's any clauses and amendments and all that yada yada crappy crap that they always, the fine lines that nobody understand, like what the hell is that? And you gotta get a lawyer. Why you gotta get like, let's, you know, can we just be regular people talk? <laughs> Roman days is over. Greek days is over. Latin days is over. Okay, let's just get to the point. You know? Um, they want you to go crazy. They want you to do all this. Like, they probably sitting back, chilling. They probably at the golf course, not even worrying. At the spa, chilling. Like, a girlfriend. They speaking with their other girlfriend who's in the same caliber or higher. Saying, you know, I had to do what I had to do. And they're like, yeah, okay, let me just take this mimosa. And, and, and yeah, take this, you know, Prozac and everything all right. We'll get a massage and we'll forget about it. They'll, they'll adjust. Meanwhile, fast forward 10 years later, that same friend is going to be calling that friend who passed the law saying, um, do you know anywhere that, because I know you, you told all the states they can't do it. And she's like, yeah, girl. <laughs> That's how that stuff works. But they want you to get go crazy. But take your power back as women and use that energy for something else. Okay? So, yes, you can scream, holler. You can have all these fancy signs with these nice, funny logos and slogans. And, you know, some of them slogans be hitting the point. I get it. You thought a lot about it. You know, you spent gas to protest. You know, you done picked up your girls. You done rented a whole 12-passenger vehicle. You done got babysitters. Some of you got the kids out there. You know, all that is hot. You got to buy water. The gas is all high. When your temperature is all high, y'all going to be on blood pressure pills and a heartbeat. And most of y'all women got families to take care of. And y'all really stressing yourself out right now. Okay? So calm down for a minute. Because for those who had it in the state, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a minute for them to write it up. See how they can manipulate things and have some, some spaces in between the words that can be brought up and fought up in court. You know how that go. Whatever. Take power and control about what you can do. Start with yourself, first of all. Start with yourself. Start being comfortable buying condoms. Don't rely on him to bring the condoms because men trap women too. Okay, boys trap girls too, right? It's just not the other way around as they want you to believe that's the way it is. I'm supposed to be getting gas when I'm talking to y'all, but they can wait. Okay, so... Start buying your own condoms. Start checking the expiration dates. You know, if they're old, throw them away. You know, because the rubber is going to start to deteriorate, deteriorate and then it's going to start to get a little loose and, and the material is not going to be so tight where sperm can possibly go through. But so far, the condom is the number one protection of, you know, um, having a baby, getting pregnant. And it's, it's 10 bucks. You can get for split up prescriptions from it so just go to your ob go to your your general doctor they can give you prescription script for it well you don't have to come out of pocket or you only have to pay two dollars for a 15 dollar pack go down to your local um community um center and also like the county health center they always give out free condoms and spermicides and stuff like that start teaching your younger children even if they're not sexually active but start teaching them, you know, you know, at an age where you know they're hitting puberty or even before that, yes, get your own condoms. Make sure you do not have protection, you know, have protected sex. Otherwise, this, that, and the other. I mean, some of y'all are going to try to put the fear of your God into to, 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 to a lot of kids, but that don't usually work, especially in America. <laughs> they just become more promiscuous, you know what I mean? It's really become more promiscuous. So you got to be real with these kids. You might even have to show them examples and take them around to um, a community center, you know, where teen pregnancy is high or where and hear some stories. There's a lot of stories on YouTube and all kind of um, different streaming systems about the struggles of being, you know, a teen mom. You know, start there. You know, I don't, I'm not telling y'all to take a whole bunch of hormonal pills and all that to control your control having a baby. No, because, you know, that leads into other things, too, to be honest. But that's a whole other video. 
So the safest way that's not going to get you any kind of issues in the long run as far as the uterine wise, the function of the uterine, the uterus is, is the condom. And they're everywhere, you know, and you can buy them in packs and tons, but just make sure you, you check the expiration date, you know. And you might want to get some referrals, which one is, a, you know, a good condom for you. If you have, like, um, allergic reactions to certain things, to certain special condoms, you definitely should get a script for that because they might be hard to, to come by. So the script will help you get it either delivered to you or what, you know, I'm talking about. Um, the second would be, like, a sponge. But that's, like, a, a method that people don't teach a lot. But, you know, it, it causes, it doesn't cause any kind of harm or any kind of danger to your uterus, you know, as far as pumping in hormones and and, and uh, metals in you, and doing all that kind of stuff. It's just you stick it in, you stick it out. So maybe you need to teach some of those methods to yourself and some of those methods maybe to, you know, your teenagers because with these day and ages, you don't know if they're going to run out of birth control pills. I'm going to say it again, especially with this whole law thing passing. I want to put it past them after this whole abortion now it's hard to get birth control pills so start looking into how to use sponges start looking into you know um the condoms if you've been allergic to the condoms before and that's the reason why they got a whole lot of new lines of different condoms out there now okay so start looking into that now for those who who are by no choice at hand they're in certain situations where they're being their bodies being compromised you know they are being, you know, molested. They are being sexually, um, um, you know, there's the sexual abuse is going on around them. And if you know somebody that that's going on, don't turn a blind eye to it. It might be going on right under your nose. But because of family history, you decide to walk away or turn to a blind eye. It, no, it's 20, no, it's 2022. That, that no longer exists anymore. That, don't, that doesn't exist anymore. And these people making these laws and rules. I'm sorry, y'all. After this life, good luck. It ain't going to be happy. Mm -mm. Those of y'all turning blind eyes to people that's getting raped and molested. After this life, it ain't going to be happy. So I wouldn't be so much in a rush to go because it's not going to be happy. And maybe even during this lifetime, you're going you're gonna, to, you're gonna, ooh, ooh. Because things is karma speeding up fast, honey. Fast. Fast. And if you're watching this video and that's happened to you, I know you don't want to go to the cops. Cops are not trained. They're not ready. They're not even ready for humanity. Like these judges, they don't know humanitarianism. Like these cops, they don't know what that, they, that's, that's not what they're trained for. You know what I mean? These judges, they're not trained to really understand the people. We the who you sit no we go everybody everybody needs to go if you in office or hold any kind of power all of y'all need to go somewhere and sit down. Now, there are other places. Yes, th th no. The Catholic Church done. A lot of these dot orgs from back in the day done, done or done. They ain't no help either. They ain't no help. Foster that no, they ain't no help. But there's so many grassroots organizations now online and in your community. Get to a library ASAP. Every library has Wi Fi, and especially before they pull some old shut down stuff again. Get to a library today, tomorrow, before this weekend, and look up help. Ask the librarian. I know it's listen, I know it can be a shameful situation, but it's not your fault. A librarian is a mutual source of information. Mutual source. She's not on either side. She's just here to say, here's the information. She might know. She might even have a flyer somewhere in the back. That somebody who started an organization to help um, um, young people that's going through abuse in their home. Young people that's going through abuse in their foster home. Young people that's going through abuse, you know, in their community, but they don't have nobody else to tell because if they tell their parents, it's not going to happen. Abuse that's being done in a lot of these religious sanctuaries. They can't go to their mom and their father and their this. Especially when it comes to religion because they choose religion over family. 
You know what I mean? So reach to your local library and ask for help. The Wi-Fi is there. They have free computers. Sign up for one. You know, you can even be a guest. You know what I mean? And sign up for one just to be a guest. It'll give you a guest pass or whatever. But the library is free. Go in there and get you some help. Get those numbers and get you some help. And if you do not have a phone, trust me, the librarian will help you make that phone call. She will not call the cop if you say, can you call this 800 do- number because there is a, 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 a place in my community. We have one that's called the Ryan, Mc- Mah- Ryan McMahoney um, Center here. But you might have other programs too that's not affiliated with the Catholic Church. That's not affiliated with the orphan issues. That's not affiliated with foster care. That's not affiliated with, you know, um, the Rescue Mission or Salvation Army. You know, we gave them a chance. We gave them a chance. We've donated money time and time and time and time and time and time again. Nothing is working. So don't go, don't. There's other sources, especially since COVID, there's been a lot of people starting organizations to help other women like you. So look, reach out to someone. You know, if there's a a, a trusted teacher, even though school's out, some teachers are still there. Some counselors, nurses are still in school. Call your school. There is somebody there in the office because some schools have summer school. Even if you're in elementary, there's somebody in the office. And if you can't reach your elementary, call the high school in your community because they're open because of summer school. And ask. Ask. I need some information. I need some help. And you can tell them, please, I do not want... I just need a place where I can call, where I can get some assistance and I can get some help. And it's, you know... Um, maybe somebody starting their own business or whatever. This sun is blinding me out here. I might have to move to another, what you call it. But, um, oh, there we go. Better. So let me find another pump. But, um, yeah, so, and like I said, the community, everybody always talking about, oh, okay, all right, let's get to it. Everybody's spiritual now, right? I ain't, everybody's spiritual now, especially since COVID. Everybody's spiritual. Okay, so it's time for y'all to start standing up, okay? If you say that, y'all are talking about y'all woke. I don't know if this is even better or not. Well, anyway, I'm going to get this out regardless. Y'all talking about y'all woke and whatnot. Let's let's start putting some change because if they are all about this, we need to start getting out some sex education. There needs to be some um, more... Uh, foundations started by grassroots people you know that is going to help you know these females these males it's just not females let's help the males too that's being abused sexually abused at five six seven eight nine ten well five you ain't gonna be able to say that but you see it you know it's not cps anymore that stuff is so old old okay and if you're watching this and you have an organization you know, put it down below. You know, I'm not going to promote it until I, like, check you out and I need to know who you are and whatever. But, you know, people are smart nowadays. So if you put it down, they will do your own research. And if somebody does put it down, I don't sponsor anybody. I don't even know. I'm just trying to get information out to you guys, you know. And what I am going to do is I'm going to put up some organizations, grassroots, you know, as much as I can get. Um, and put that together in some kind of blog and just keep adding on to it. But I'm going to start the blog with whatever I have. And then as more information pours in, I'll just keep adding to that blog. But at least that link will be in this video. So let's say if it's, you know, a month later, that list should get longer. A year later, that list should really get longer. So check out um, the website, BeliosoPregnant.com. Um, just click on the blog. It's up on the top right-hand side of the website. Or if it's on... Um, your phone is right there on the top somewhere but um just click that and then i'm gonna do that now i'm in my car so and i have an appointment so um after that then i'm gonna head home and just type up pretty much everything i said here excuse me <laughs> but with the exception of having information out there because what's the point of giving this information if i don't have information to back it up for where you go right so we start working on this stuff right now 
by the time they throw all these things at us, at least we got a grip. At least we can come together as a community. Even if it's I'm over here and you're like three states away. Nowadays, that's like around the corner to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we can all share information, each one teach one, because teamwork, that's what's going to make all this come together. And I don't want no one to be in fear. I don't want anybody to be using all your or raising your blood pressure so much that's just getting you so worked up when you can't sleep, when you can't eat, when your hair falling out. No, let's start with what you can control. First, you can control yourself. You know, am I going to be sleeping around unprotected or not? The government ain't making that decision for you right now, so you can decide whether or not you want to go without. But you know what happens when you go without, right? Right. Even if you have hysterectomies. I know people who got not nice hysterectomies. Um, got their tubes tied. I even know men who got a little snippy snip. I know a couple who got the snip and tubes tied had a baby at 50. That's all I'm saying. Know these things. I mean, yes, the percentage level is small, but... It's like playing Russian roulette. Now, well, I shouldn't put Russian roulette like that because that's kind of sad. I'm gonna put, it. but you know, it's like playing the lotto or, or blackjack or whatever. You don't know if you are that percentage or not. If you fall into that category or not, because you don't know what the future holds. You can have an idea, you can have a plan, but you don't know what the future holds, right? So, start with yourself. Are you going? Are you going? Are you going to go and make? get pissy drunk pissy or, or, or high and be about around a bunch of people that you don't know nowadays it could be people around that you do know be, be setting up people you know that whole wave that happened started a couple years ago where your friends is setting you up your associates is setting you up for danger so even them you gotta be like even if you used to getting pissy drunk and you you know giving your friend your key and saying hey if I get pissy drunk I want you to take your Hey, wait a minute now. Now you're giving too much control to other people. So maybe you do not need to get pissy drunk. And if you get pissy drunk, you in your own house. You know what I mean? And you got a good, 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 good person next to you that will kick everybody out in a hot second if anything get out of hand. Because she know or he know you're not in the right mind. But start to protect yourself in that way. If you know that you're putting yourself in a vulnerable situation, stop and think about that. Because now you got to start projecting these things. Because it's not as easy as, oh shoot, I made the wrong decision. So I'm going to need like $500. Or I'm going to need to be traveling four hours to get over here. Because this is where they do it. So you're going to have to really start thinking. And then even about the man that you're sleeping with. I already got a video about demon babies. So now is the time to check yourself and be like, I know I'm horny. But do I really want to, and do I really start thinking about that now? So females, you really got to start protecting your body and protecting your space and protecting your and, and your mind. Start with your mind as well. Don't let all this stuff drive you crazy. Where there's a will, there is a way for women to unite where we'll be able to solve these issues. And it's not the politicians is not whether you're Democrat or Republican. It's not who is um, the Supreme Justice Court, high, whatever. Who cares? Who are they? It starts right with you, you, and then from you spreading it on to your kids and talking about it, spreading it on to your community, hooking people up, seeing something and acting on it, not just ignoring it, like, oh, that's our problem. No, because what's going to happen is a lot of women going to die. That's what's going to happen. A lot of women are going to die. And a lot of women, are, more women are going to die because there's women dying, you know, all the time because of pregnancy and, and um, abortions and stuff like that that don't get talked about. But it's going to be more so, you know, with there's infections where a lot of women are going to have to now get hysterectomies because of the infections where women are now barren. Because they're looking for other ways in order to abort a child because it's now illegal. And they know this. Because history repeats itself. This is why in a lot of states it was considered 
legal as long as it's from a doctor or midwife who's been trained, specially trained to do safe abortions, where her uterus is going to be intact and she is going to be intact and be able to get up and walk around within, you know, two hours after sedation wears off or three hours. Take it easy, but you're not scarred. Your womb is not scarred up so much. You know, there's just clean utensils and tools. So now what? Everybody going to be ordering an abortion tool on Amazon. Let me find out. Let me, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. But people say the older you get, the wiser you get. Really? That's not so. Let's change that. Let's change that philosophy. And what's going to happen? Karma's going to bite their asses so much because they, they got to have descendants. They have friends who families can get to somebody somebody's getting pregnant in their family and it might be somebody who they really really did not want to <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later alright I'm going to be putting out more videos actually um, I'm working on a project right now um, if you go onto the web site you see it it's a new project coming out um, and I'm going to stop doing the um the concierge portion, the service plans there, because I'm going to be focusing more on this new project. Because now more than ever, it is needed. It's been on my mind for years. <laughs> and now it's just time to get it done. Okay? Because I can't just talk this talk and not walk the walk. So hopefully you will support me on that. I will let you guys know more further more as it um, develops. But to keep touch with it you know you can go on to biliosopregnant.com or you can check out the social media sites and I'll be updating you as I go on but honey after this appointment I'm about to get more busier because I it's about to go down okay have a wonderful day and night and don't like I said don't worry about it now you know it starts with you and now you know we got to take care of the, we got to take care of the girls we got to take care of the babies we got to take care of the females we got to take care of the mamas you, you understand what I'm talking about in the future mamas have a wonderful day and night. You know what? By the way, I forgot to mention something. Since we are treating people like animals, why don't we do this, judges, and everybody above the judges that persuade judges to make their decision? Because don't just tell me that just y'all, just y'all are the ones who are making all the decisions for everybody. No, you got people above you that's making those decisions as well for y'all. So here we go. Less, if anybody rape, molest, sexually abuse, any of that kind of stuff, any female or male, how about we spay the neuter them? No, no, we don't want, forget putting them in jail. That's just wasting too much of our tax money and stuff and wasting too much precious space. Why well, tear down a tree for a criminal? We need that to breathe. They don't need to breathe. Okay? So, let's do that. Let's do tip for tat then. Let's play that game. You consider a rapist? No, you don't stay in away from schools and away from the parks. You get castrated or neutered, whether you're male or female. You will have no longer no sexual desires, no more. Period. It would be nice if there was an island we could just put y'all on one island so y'all could just rape yourselves. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'd be a whole rape fest. Since we don't want to waste that land either, we'll just castrate your asses. That's what we'll do. And excuse my language. That's what we do. You don't need air conditioning and an orange jumpsuit and 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 and, and you know sneakers with no laces and three meals a day and a vending machine with Gatorade and water in it and cable and, and letters and common syrup. You don't need that shit. You don't need tampons. You don't need none of that shit. What you need to do is you need to get castrated. There you go. Get castrated. No need whatsoever. And I'm sure some of y'all got other, <laughs> other situations, you know, other examples of what needs to be done. But let, let's go there. Let's think about that. Since you meddling all the people's private parts, let's go. And the women didn't even do nothing. We, they didn't even do nothing but just be women. So won't you pass a law? Won't you, won't you stop all this whole mess? And pass the law towards the sex offenders. Now we're going to castrate. 
Let's go. <laughs> you know why? I'm not gonna go. Let me tell you why. Because most of their friends, <laughs> they own husband, they own wives. Oh, yeah, there's some wives out there that will sleep with your 16 year old son, 14 year old son. Yeah, y'all freaks. Yeah, y'all. But you can cover it up with good lawyers and who you know and what you know and that moolah or whatever. Shares, 51% shares, whatever. 